Okay, question 8, we have a nice 8 marker, so figure 8 uh, shows the graph of a quadratic function. The graph crosses the axes at the points minus 1, 0, 0, minus 4, and 2, 0. Our job is to find the area of the finite region bounded by the curve and the x-axis. So, the area that we want is this stuff in here. Now, that is going to be done by using integration. The only problem at the moment is that we don't know in the equation of the curve. What we do know though is it's a quadratic. So, quadratic in general is y is equal to ax squared add bx add c. Now, c is the y-intercept. So, we can say that, and we know that the y-intercept is minus 4. So, we can say y is equal to ax squared add bx minus 4. Good. Alright, now we need to find the values of a and b. So to do that, we can use the x-intercepts. So we know that when x is minus 1, y is equal to 0. Now that tells us then that 0 is equal to a times minus 1 squared, which is 1. Um, so we get 1x, uh, sorry, 1a uh, minus b minus 4. So that then tells us that a minus b is equal to 4. Okay, so if we do that with the other x-intercept, we know that when x is 2, y is 0. So, that gives us 0 is equal to a times 2 squared, so 4a, and b times 2, so 2b, minus 4. Now that then tells us that uh, 4a add 2b is equal to 4. Okay, so this is now simultaneous equations. So, let's call them 1 and 2. Now, if we divide 2 by 2, we're going to end up with a positive 1b, which is good. So let's do 2 divided by 2. That's going to give us 2a and b is equal to 2. Now let's call that equation 3. Now we can cancel out the b's by doing equation 1 out equation 3. 
So, one add three, it's going to give us 3a is equal to 6. So, a is equal to 2. Now we can find b, so we know that a minus b is 4, so 2 minus b is 4, that tells us then that b is minus 2. So, at this point we now know our quadratic is y is equal to 2x squared um, minus 2x minus 4. So, if we call this area A, A then is the integral of our quadratic between these two limits. So A is the integral between minus 1 and 2 of 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 with respect to x. So We are going to get, well, x squared integrates to x cubed over 3. So we're going to get 2x cubed over 3. x integrates to x squared over 2. So we're going to get minus x squared. And then we're going to get minus 4x between 2 and minus one. Okay, so we are going to get 2 cubed is 8. 2 times 8 is 16, so we get 16 thirds minus 2 squared 4 minus 4 times 2, so 8. Minus, minus 1 cubed is minus 1, so we got 2 thirds times minus 1, so we get minus 2 thirds, uh, minus, minus 1 squared, so that's minus 1, and then minus 4 times minus 1. So that's going to give us add 4. Okay, so we get now 4 is 12 thirds 8 is 24 thirds So we've got 16 thirds minus 36 thirds so we get minus 20 thirds remember you can use your calculator so we got minus 20 thirds minus now in here 1 is 3 thirds so we got minus 2 thirds minus 3 thirds is minus 5 thirds, 4 is 12 thirds, minus 5 thirds, add 12 thirds is 7 thirds. So all together we got minus 7 thirds. So we've got minus 27 thirds. But it's an area. And actually that gives us minus 9. The reason that that is negative is because 
we are under the x-axis. So A is positive line. Cool.